Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. This is Chuck, the Everyday Explorer. I haven't talked in a while. I've been on some bike rides. Uh, I haven't recorded it during this quarantine time. I'm going to try to get back to the videos here. And, and I've been hiking and biking and relaxing. This is the inside of my 2018 Sonic. I thought I would just do a real quick video in case somebody uh, was thinking about getting a camper. I got one last year. And now I'm kind of looking forward to getting off the grid real quick. Not far from my uh, my camp in PA, but I'll probably keep this here until I find a permanent place to stick it for the summer. But anyway, it's by the house now. This is uh, uh, trying to think of the, but it, in the model name it has the rear dining, which is here. This is the little table here. This folds down to a bed. There's the entrance door there with the screen. Um, but this folds down to a bed. This comes down right here. And these benches, we actually recovered them a little bit, so they're real, real comfortable now. And there's storage underneath each of these two benches. And I got a fan and a coffee pot. Pretty much brand new. I think I've only had it since last year. Got a really good sale, and I've only spent, I think, two nights in it. But anyway, and all these... Oh, dropped it almost. There's my cupboards. They're all... A few things in them now, but not much. But has tons of covered space. It even has space behind here, if you can see that. Anyways, and then you have more covered space right here, which is fantastic. And there's your furnace. I keep my broom and dustpan right here. And this is a push-out uh, kitchen area. It's got one of those slide-outs. It's not a real big slide-out, but it is handy. You could actually function in here without the slide-out. But the slide-out uh, definitely helps create some more floor space right here and this is one of those induction ovens it's a microwave and i have tried this out a couple times to make sure it works good but it has uh it actually microwaves and cooks and everything really good it's extremely handy and i don't know about you guys but i like how the microwave is up here and and not like down low or something it's very easy to use up here i, I like the microwave there this is a smaller forget about how many feet cubic feet it is it's a smaller refrigerator it works out really good though you see, I don't really put a whole lot in it. And it's got a nice sized little freezer. I mean, it's just, it's not huge, but it works really good for me. It has the latch right here. That latch is in. And you got the sink, and the cover slides off here. See? Nice deep sink, too. And the faucet's kind of high, which is nice. It's just got the little two burner stove. It's probably one of the cheaper setups. It works great for me. It's a little suburban. It's all gas. It works fantastic. It's got a little bit of a backsplash there. And this right here is really, really deep. It has a plug-in right here. Let's see, I'll turn this little light on here. It's got a nice plug-in there back there. It's got more storage, which I have. It's not messy. Just I have stuff in my in the storage there. It's got two storage compartments. You keep walking back here. you got a really nice window. This is It comes up and down. Has a screen and also has a pull down shade, which is really handy. And then over here on both sides of the well, just this side of the bed has a little closet. If you're closed, this bed is extremely comfortable. Just I put a pad on top of the one of those uh, special pads on top of the mattress and it works out fantastic. Anyway, so that's nice. It's got uh, obviously my wife did the the pillows and everything. I'm not. I'm not that good at decorating. It's got all storage up above the bed here, which is nice. Just holds it in nicely. And then it's got a little headboard pad thing. It's handy if you want to slide some thin things. I'll put my tablet in there, so that's handy. And then it's got a, this is the window in the back. That's also emergency exit. It's got uh, USB right there. You got cable up there if you want a TV in here. You also have plugins. I have a little fan clip right there. Works out really, really good. We'll come back to. This is the skylight that's in the middle of it. Film probably isn't the best. And it's got the air conditioner. I think it's a 13,000 BTU. But it, you could you could actually adjust it. It blows out uh, all four sides. You could adjust it and then high and low. But it is, you have to access it right here. And right here is your furnace. And that uh, runs off the propane. This is the bathroom. It's actually, for me, it's an excellent size bathroom. It's got the porcelain uh, flush toilet, porcelain bowl, a little place for a garbage can there. It's got uh, 
there's all your levels. You can tell what uh, your levels are at. I don't have my glasses on, so. And it's got the 110 plug right there, which is real handy. It's got a nice little sink in here. It's got a nice vanity, good size vanity. All right, so there's that already. And then it's got a nice shower. I mean, this is this tub you're not gonna be able to sit on this little kid, but the nice thing is you get in the shower, you don't have to worry about getting things all over the floor because it's a nice deep tub. There's plenty of room, right? I'm six foot. And I have clearance just up to even to here, but not to mention the little skylight. And uh, there's your shower wand and everything. So that, that works out really good. It's got a nice size little bathroom, everything you need in there. I was very impressed. Oh, it's also got the fantastic fan here. You can put that on. And then this also goes up. Get some air. You can blow that straight down in there. And you come back around to the top, to the front. This is kind of your entertainment center. And I've seen a few of these that have been pretty set up nice. I like this setup just because you got your TV right here, right? And then you got uh, nice shelving units here. You got your uh, music center right here. It's music, DVD, Bluetooth, inside and outside speakers. You've got your slide control right here. And you have your awning right there. You have all your lighting right here. These has a blue light underneath too, and also has a power booster for the Wi-Fi. But once again, you got more storage. This this camper has got tons of storage. I'll try to add a link in the exact model number. It is 169 VRD 2018 Sonic Light. They list for about twenty three thousand, but I didn't pay near that. I got a great great price on it. So I you know you can get these even the two thousand twenties. If they had this model, you'd be able, easily be able to get it for under twenty thousand. But uh, it's a great little camper. I went from a pop up to this, and I've done some camping in other campers, but this is really good. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to let you know: get out there, enjoy yourself. Better days are ahead. Uh, try to make an adventure out of every day. That's what I do: go riding on my e-bike, explore the campers, or explore the trails. I'll post some more. Uh, give me some comments or questions, uh, suggestions. Or any questions about this camper or other RVs, I do look at them. There's an RV place about 30 miles from here, and I actually walk through them. If somebody wants to see an RV inside and outside, I'll be glad to go up there. And I'll do the outside of this one next time I do it. This is the inside of the Sonic by Venture 2018 169BRD. It's a real nice size. I think it weighs about 3,300 pounds dry weight. Um, so it's, it's, it's easy. I have a Tundra, so I pull with that, but I, I probably could do it with my brother's Tacoma, his six cylinder. So anyway, take it easy. Talk to you soon. Chuck with the everyday, everyday explorers and I'll post again soon. Take it easy. Bye.